Hi, in this video I will show how to use XLS to GPX converting app. XLS is like old uh, Excel uh, format for Excel spreadsheets and GPX is global position in exchange format. So basically we are converting data from Excel, uh, from old Excel file into GPX format. So uh, this is my website, I will leave a link on this site in the description. To find app I will click on search and type XLS to GPX. If you need like, uh, there are, if you need different GPX app you just can type GPX and you will have a different uh, GPX apps are what we need XLS to GPX. This one. We'll click on app page, click on download button to start downloading process and wait until file will be downloaded. I downloaded it previously just for testing purposes but we'll download it again. And it's pretty small file, I'll just click, click on it to open uh, downloaded archive. Double click on MSI inside archive to start installation, click on more info here. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher. You can see publisher unknown. I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. So I'll click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes here and click on finish. And you can see app has been installed and I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this, minimize this and double click. This is my app. <laughs> double click on uh, shortcut to uh, launch app now. Um, conversion is three steps process and first step we will have to have Excel file with uh, coordinates. Let's open, I can show you what I have. It's um, my track. Yeah, so this is my tracked Excel file. I can show you what it is. So basically it's um, Excel file with date, latitude, longitude and elevation. This is what I need. So I need date for creating GPX file, I need time stamp and latitude, lo uh, longitude and elevation. And it's like entire file of this, just for testing purposes. Let's go and select my track file. I will click on this button to select file. Um, click uh, and type my track to find file. Yep. Click on open. File is here. Click on next step. Next step. So if my file, first row of the file contains column names, but not coordinates. This is what I have in my file. I will leave it as checked. Now, this is a GPX column. This will be columns from my Excel file. You will have a different Excel file. For example, like time will be like, in your Excel file could be track time. So here will be track time instead of time. But what I need to do here, I need to specify which column from my Excel file correspond to latitude and sing it's left. For longitude is in long, for altitude is elevation, and for time is just time. So I specified where from which column I will have to take data from my GPX. Click next step, click on run conversion, and let's specify uh, uh, name of the file and location. Let's call it like my track and save. You can see file has been saved. Now let's go to Maps Google. My Maps. Google.com. And let's import. So I um, let's see. No, I, this is my previous test. Just ignore it. I I tried it before to show you just to make sure that everything works. So let's move it to trash. Let's start from clear and we'll create new map. And we will import my GPX file I just created. Let's import it and select from file from my device and let's sort by date modified and let's go into documents and it will be my track right let's find it my track gpx yeah 
GPX file. It's uploading and now it's showing that so I have data from my Excel file converted into GPX file and uploaded on uh, my maps. So yeah, basically um, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in comments. Thank you.